I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Whom do men say the Son of Man is? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we're a youth organization that's all about passing the faith to the next generation. If you love what we're doing, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications so that you get the new stop. Get the app. It's everywhere. Search higher things in your favorite app store and you will find us. Donate. Your tax deductible gift given in the link in the, descri in, in the description keeps us filling the ears of the youth of our, of our day with the gospel. Give today. The three-year series, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna take some time each week and do the gospel lesson for the three-year series. So the three-year series for this week is um, Matthew 16, 13 to 20. Let's read it together, shall we? Now, when Jesus came into the, the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do men say the Son of Man is? And they said, some say Elijah, uh, some say John the Baptist, some say Eliza. Um, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said, who do you say that I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And he said to him, Jesus said to him, blessed are you, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father who's in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter and on this Petra, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it, or will not prevail against it. And I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he strictly charged the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. Now, I want you to take note of, of a couple of things here. First off, who is Jesus? It doesn't matter what people say he is. It only, it only matters who his father says he is. And his father says, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. It comes out of Peter's mouth, but it's not from Peter. It's from his father. Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah. Flesh and blood didn't re re reveal this to you. You didn't figure this out on your own. My father who's in heaven revealed this to you. And so all the different things that people think that Jesus is and say that Jesus is, he's a great revolutionary. He loves to give to the poor. He's a good Democrat. All the different memes. He's a socialist. All the different memes that people make and invoke his name, none of them matter except what his father says. And you find his father's will and word in the scriptures. And so if somebody's making a case for Jesus being something that doesn't include the word of God, whatever they're saying, is gonna last only as long as they're saying it. And after they're done speaking and the air has left their mouth or the, uh, or the email has been sent or the post has been posted, it's gonna fade away. Flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, but my father who's in heaven. Now, what does it mean that he's the Christ, the son of the living God? It means that he's gonna die for you and he's gonna rise for you and he's gonna live for you forever. And that you're gonna die with him in the waters of your baptism you're going to raise with him and you're going to live forever in him. That faith in him alone saves. It means that he has the keys to the, to the kingdom of heaven, that whatever he binds on earth is bound in heaven and whatever he loosed on earth is loosed in heaven. It means that your sins are forgiven when you ask him for forgiveness. It means your sins are forgiven when your pastor proclaims that forgiveness to you. Just like Peter, so also Jesus is men. This is important, especially in our day. In a universe where there is no truth, where people identify themselves how they want to be, Jesus tells you who he is, the Christ, the one who dies for you, the son of the living God, and then tells you what it means. It means that I'm going to save you with my holy life and my bitter sufferings and death. And you, by faith, receive that and are saved. So a blessed Who's Jesus? He's the Son of God. Day to you as you live your faith out in all that you say and do. I'm Pastor George Barkart, 
And this has been another Higher Things Video Short.